Question 36. A project requires completion of 11 tasks A, B, C through to K. A network diagram for the project giving the completion time for each task in minutes is shown. Part A. Find the minimum time to complete the project. The minimum time to complete the project is found by completing the earliest start time or EST for each task. So starting here, after task A, we're at the 5 minute mark. After task B, we're at the 8 minute mark. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Now 14 plus 3 is 17, but 8 plus 6 is 14. We write the higher of the two numbers when determining the earliest start time. Now from this point, 17 plus 5 is 22. 17 plus 6 is 23. Again, there are two ways to get to this vertex, either 22 plus 8, which is 30, or 23 plus 3, which is 26. We write the higher of the two numbers, which is 30. 30 plus 10 is equal to 40, and we're at the finish. So the minimum completion time is 40 minutes. Part B. State the critical path for this project. The critical path for this project may be found by completing the latest start time or LST for each task. Starting from the finish and working backwards, from the 40 minute mark, subtracting 10 we get 30, 30 minus 8 is 22, 30 minus 3 is 27. Now when there are two ways to get to a vertex we write the lower of the two numbers so it's the opposite of finding the EST for each task. 22 minus 5 is 17. 27 minus 6 is 21, and the lower of the two numbers is 17. 17 minus 6 is 11. 17 minus 3 is 14. 14 minus 2 is 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. And 5 minus 5 is 0. And the critical path is found by locating the vertices where the numbers, top and bottom, are identical. And I've highlighted them here. So the critical path is A, C, D, E, G, J, and K. Part C. A new task X is to be added to the project. The earliest starting time for X is 17 minutes, the latest starting time for X is 18 minutes, and X has a completion time of 12 minutes. Add task X to the given network diagram above and state the float time for this task. Task X is not on the critical path because its earliest starting time is different to its latest starting time. The earliest starting time for Task X is 17 minutes, and that gives us a clue as to where to locate Task X on the network diagram. Also note that Task X has a completion time of 12 minutes. Here is Task X on the network diagram located between this vertex and this vertex. The float time for task X can be found by taking the LST of task K, subtracting from that value the completion time of task X and the EST or the earliest start time for task X. So 30 minus 12 minus 17 is equal to 1. Therefore, the float time for task X is 1 minute.